Hello, Anselm Griffin here again with another YouTube tutorial featuring MATLAB. Today we're looking at the while loop in MATLAB, and this is a particular engineering physics aspect. Just to say, I have it printed here in a Word document, and the link to the Word document will be available in the description. So we have a rocket highlighted there. The rocket fires for, and there's fuel in the rocket, it's a toy rocket. So we get a burn for 0.15 of a second. The fuel burns for 0.15 of a second. The upward force is 16 newtons. Um, it reaches its apex. The velocity will be zero at that particular stage. Then it starts to return to Earth. And remember when velocity is coming down is negative. So positive velocity going up, negative when it comes down. So it will actually be minus 20 meters per second. Now the question is left as 20, that's not a typo. It's up to the student to know that on the way down, it's minus 20. And then once we get to minus 20, the parachute deploys immediately and it floats down to earth at a constant minus 20 meters per second. So we have it there. We have the three stages of the rocket. And we need three while loops. Slight time boot there. So I put in the, um, the three constants, gravity, the mass of the rocket and the force upwards. And I've initialized my T1 is zero. My delta T I'm going to calculate for every point 0.01 of a second. And my initial T, my initial V, and my initial height is zero. And I need a counter there just to keep track of where I've gone. So the first loop, I'm going to go around in 0.01 of a second each time. And each time I do that, I'm going to calculate the velocity, the height, and obviously the time would go as well. So the velocity there, I assume you know your equations of motion, V equals U plus AT. And this one here, S or H equals UT plus a half AT squared. Remember, the initial U in both cases is zero. So that just is a half AT squared. And for this one here, V equals U plus AT, the initial velocity U is also zero. So it's just AT. So you calculate V1, H1, and T1, and then you have an array TI. So that'll store each T1 as you go around. The array V will score will store each V1 as you go around, and the array H will store each height as you go around. So you go around there, and when T1 gets to 0.15, you stop. Because what happens then? The rocket um, has reached its apex. The parachute deploys immediately. So V2 will store the velocities for the second stage of the rocket. T2 will store the times for the uh, second stage of the rocket. And H2 is got from there. Okay, so you have the initial height here and then S equals, U, S equals UT plus a half AT squared. So you have the initial height. So that it might be where students would find a bit of difficulty. And then you have to get the velocities, which is the equation of motion we mentioned above, E equals U plus AT. And we increment T2 by delta T. We increment the counter. And we store each T2, V2, and H2 in the arrays T, V, and H. So you do all of that. Then while the V2 is greater than minus 20, so remember it'll be going minus 16, minus 17, minus 18, minus 19, minus 19.9. And then when it gets to minus 20, what happens? The parachute deploys. 
And the idea of the parachute is it'll flow down with a constant velocity of minus 20. So H3, T3 and V3 are there to model the flight of the rocket in the third stage. So what's the while condition here? While the height is greater than zero, obviously when it hits the ground, the height is zero, so it'll just create a hole in the ground. So you create a new height here. You don't bother with the um, velocity because we assume it's going at minus 20. We increment the time, we increment the counter, and we store the relevant T, V, and H into the respective arrays there. We then want to do some plots. I assume if you're here, you're reasonably okay with the plots. So there we are. So we fire the rocket. Um, off it goes. There's the height. And it starts to come down there and it gets to zero. And then the velocity against time. It looks like an error, but there isn't. The velocity goes up. Starts to go to dunk to dunk to starts to decrease, gets to minus 20, and then it's minus 20, but we don't see the blue line along the x axis here. So it gets to there and it just stops.